he was picked up as a free agent uh, by the Rams. Uh, uh, he signed a three-year deal with the Rams. And uh, he goes to camp tomorrow. How likely is it that he will make the final roster, which plays in the regular season NFL games? I guess it's a 56-man roster. How likely is it that he will make that roster? Well, um, it, it's, it's a high percentage on that. I don't. I can't really tell you exactly the percentage on it. I'm confident in his, in his ability, the same uh, the way I was in uh, Milton's uh, ability, because I trained both of them from kids, and they always had that that knack, that itch factor. So you feel that he is a he has a legitimate chance of succeeding as an NFL player. Yes, yes, I do. I have no doubt that he has that. Uh, and this is the hunger that he has, the drive that he has, and no one has to motivate him. But he gets up at 4 o'clock every morning and work out. You know, I, I said, well, why do you do that? He said, well, all the greats get up at 4 o'clock and, and work out. So he has that confidence within himself. We know how much Milton he did for Belize. As with his uh, success in professional basketball, both in Europe and in the United States, he was a great inspiration. He played on national teams. Obviously, the, the construct, the opportunities aren't the same for, for football, but explain to me how your son, how do you hope your son uh, involves his Belizean-ness in his NFL career? Once everything gets going with the sponsorship and everything else, I'm trying to at least come back to Belize and maybe hold a count, whether it's for football or just letting these kids know that whatever they put their mind to, they can achieve it. Then they can. When you can touch a person that's been successful and hear from them personally, I think that motivates lots of kids to say, you know what, this is something I might want to do.